hello and welcome to the part 2 of chess openings video so in today's video i'll be sharing you some interesting historical facts about chess openings and some of the commonly used chess opening terms and we'll look into the e4 opening moves as well so let's start with some historical facts some major changes has been made in the rules of chess in the late 15th century which in turn increased the speed of the game and in turn emph emphasizing the importance of opening study. The oldest openings were named for geographical places and people and many are named after nationalities like Indian, English, Spanish, French, Dutch to name a few. For example, the Catalan system is named after the Catalan region in Spain. Even chess players names are the most common source of opening names. It's not always because that player had adopted it. Often an opening is named for the player who will be the first to popularize it or to publish analysis of that particular opening. For example, Ray Lopez, Alakhine Defense, Morphe Defense, etc. And some openings are even descriptive like uh, the Gyoko Piano but uh, descriptive names are less common than openings named for places and people and by the 20th century some fanciful names like that of animals also came like orangutan, elephant, hedgehog, defense etc. Now let's take a look at some of the generally used chess opening terms. Uh, this will be useful if you are a beginner in chess. The term game is used only in some of the oldest openings, for example, Scotch game, Vienna game, etc. And the word opening along with the variation is a generally used term. Variation is usually used to describe a line within a more general opening, for example, exchange variation of the Queen's Gambit declined. And the word defense always refers to an opening chosen by black, such as a two knights defense or king's Indian defense. And the word gambit is an opening that involves the sacrifice of material. Usually one or more pawns uh, will be involved and gambits can be played by white. It can be either accepted or declined depending on whether the opponent take, uh, took the offered material or not. For example, the queen's gambit accepted or queen's gambit declined. And a counter gambit is played in response to another gambit almost always by black and for example Albin counter gambit to queen's gambit and the word system is a method of development that can be used against many different setups by the opponent for example the london system hedgehog system etc and the word attack is sometimes used to de describe an aggressive or provocative variation and the examples are like the fried liver attack in the two knights defense and the grove attack and the word reversed or inverted means black uh, means black opening played by white or more rarely a white opening played by black examples are uh, sicilian reversed from the english opening and the inverted hungarian and a few openings are prefixed with the word anti. These openings are intended to avoid a particular line otherwise available to one's opponent. For example, the anti martial against the mar martial counter attack in Ray Lopez. So these were a few chess opening terms and opening names. Now let's take a look at some of the E4 openings. King Pawn's game. The King's Pawn game is is any chess opening starting with the move e4 and it is among the most popular opening moves in chess in this move the pawn will be moved two squares and is highly useful because it occupies the center square and attacks the attacks the center square d5 and also allows the development of white's uh, white's king bishop and queen so Openings beginning with e4 and e5 are called the double king pawns game or openings and or uh, symmetrical king pawns game or openings or open games. Anyways, these terms are almost equal and in openings where the black responds with, uh, with a move other than e5, 
are called asymmetrical king pawn uh, king pawn games or semi open games you can see in the encyclopedia of chess openings ECO in short this is a must have reference book for any wannabe chess player grandmaster this book contains all the openings and its variations and it classifies all the king pawn game into volume b or c uh, volume b if uh, black answers with any other move to white's e4 and volume c if uh, the game start with e4 and e6 e4 and e6 uh, e6 means uh, which is the french defense and in rare instances where the opening does not fall into a more specific category than the king pawns game are included in codes b00 uh, it includes the nimsovich defense and initial moves of 24 so now let's take a look at some of the popular continuations to white's e4 move i will discuss the opening according to the popularity so the most popular one is the sicilian defense here black replies with c5 to white's e4 the sicilian defense allow black to fight for the center by preparing to meet uh, the d2 d4 advance uh, the sicilian is among the sharpest and most analyzed openings in chess and it has almost 80 chapters dedicated uh, set aside for it in ECO in encyclopedia of chess openings uh, and if black replies with uh, e e4 and e5 then this will lead to the classical open games for example openings like Ray Lopez, King's Gambit, Italian game, Scotch game and Petrov defense etc and if uh, and if black plays e6 e4 and e6 then it turns into the French defense and this will give white a spatial advantage with two pawns in the center to black's one either white or black will usually resolve the center tension either by playing a black playing d into e4 or white advancing with e5 so moving on if uh, it is e4 in reply to e4 if uh, black plays c6 then it turns out to be the Karokan defense like the French defense this is also considered to be a solid reply but black often needs to surrender control over the center example after d4 or d5 knight to c3 black usually plays d into e4 on the other hand the light squared bishop will always uh, will usually not wind up trapped behind its own pawns as it is common in the French defense and d6 in reply to white's e4 is usually played with the intention of playing brick defense that is e4 and d6 so this will be a brick defense uh, this is a hyper modern defense in which black allows white to construct a dominant center with the intention of subverting it later it can also lead to a modern defense a preble system or even philidor defense and if black plays g6 to modern defense e4 and g6 then it will turn out to be a modern defense this can lead to a related opening called the brick defense uh, these openings allow white to build up a pawn center with a d4 but black will develop the king's bishop to g7 and strike back uh, at the center like this and e4 and knight to f6 this will be the alakhine defense which invites white to attack the knight with e5 black is often forced to spend time moving the knight several times as it is chased around the board all the while allowing white to build up a broad uh, pawn center and if black replies d5 then it will be the scandinavian defense or center counter defense this is a direct strike at the pawn at e4 forcing the situation in the center after e takes d5 and queen takes d5 knight to c3 however white gains time time by attacking black's prematurely developed queen 
So these are some of the most popular openings if white choose to play e4 first. And you can find more information in the book uh, Encyclopedia of Chess Openings. Useful links, uh, useful links I have shared in the description box below. This video is intended towards those who are new to chess and chess openings. If you are having any doubts, feel free to contact. And if you like my videos, please do like, share and comment. The next video will be about uncommon continuations and rare continuations to E4 move by white. Uh, stay tuned for my upcoming videos about chess openings. Hope you all enjoyed. Take care and have a nice day.